a what's up everybody it's logical edits here and welcome to my new tutorial um i know i haven't done one in a while uh it's been like a couple months but um i was asked to do this and this tutorial basically is just how to use cod radiant and just a basic tutorial on how to build your map and stuff like that how to use and uh navigate around your uh workspace and yeah so uh what you see you're probably gonna be your thing first off you're probably gonna notice my thing's gray and the way to do that you're gonna go up to uh misc colors and you could just change your themes i like mine gray because the white seemed a little too boring and basic okay sorry about that um so basically how to use radiant you just drag anywhere and boom here is uh your brush and here is your uh over here i'm trying to explain is your view that right here 3d view uh, you can hold control to go up and down with the right mouse button to go up and down or just hold down right uh, mouse button you can move around like this you could also uh, actually yeah that's the only way that I know to move around and it's the easiest uh, let's see if you hold shift and control with the right mouse you could look around and yeah so that's how to use that uh, over down here is where your textures are and if you want to change your textures, go up to this uh, button up here, textures, go to usage, and here is all the usages, or you can go even more specific with uh, tools, decal, and local, and then, or you can just have a surface type. Say you want grass, you just click grass, and then boom, you have all your grass textures right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's go to all, and we're just going to build a basic room. So we're going to go to floor. And we're gonna make it. Oh, excuse me. This uh, nice hardwood looking floor. Uh huh. And let's get a guy up in here. So uh, to get a basic model, just to see who you uh, like, scales and stuff like that. Just right click anywhere and go to actor. And let's get axis, jer, bear. Oh no, zombie, jer, bear, axis honor. So we have our guy, drag him up, uh, press control and tap in this to change your view. And you could change from your uh, point of view on your top down, your left and right and your front and center. And yeah. So that's what we have so far. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift and click this right here. I'm going to press S on my keyboard and I'm just going to press fit, not fit, uh, natural. Uh, or I guess you could just do that. But I want to make it a little smaller because it looks a little too big. So uh, I'm going to turn down the vertical shift, not the vertical, the vertical stretch. A couple times. Line up. And now it looks a little bit better. And let's get some walls. Go to textures. You should interior wall. Let's get a, uh, let's make it this like a nice homey. Nice homey feel. For all my homies. All right, you can call me gay for saying that. Uh, let's get... Hmm. Well, why are you acting up? Stop it! Uh, I'll just go for this one. Seems pretty simple enough. And we're going to drag over here. Uh, a basic necessity is that a wall should be 128 units tall. That's basically what almost every texture is for walls and stuff like that as you can see it lines up perfectly with the texture and we're just going to press go to top view we're going to press space bar to copy it oh, excuse me and then uh, we're going to change the z rotation up there to rotate it and we're going to do this on all four sides nope. so now we have a room and i'm going to select the floor i'm going to copy it bring it to the top and I'm going to change the texture to a ceiling. And choose that one. So, now we have our room. And right now, nothing will happen if you're trying to play zombies. I'm just showing you guys how to use Radiant and uh, how to build and stuff like that. Alright, so let me actually bring this back to over here. Let me select the floor and the ceiling. Drag them out. Drag both these walls. Drag them out. 
and let's add some objects. So to add some objects and props and such like that, you're going to right click, go down to misc and model. Now you're going to go all the way until you see your look in Cold Duty World of War. And for all your models, you're going to go to raw and X model. Now these are every single model that you could use in the game. But just letting you know, uh, not every single model is like, uh, there's a clip, not clip, but <clears throat> I'm trying to think. You could walk through some models, so you're going to have to add clips and stuff like that. So that you can't walk through models. So, uh, since we have a little room, let's add a bed. I like to go down to static, and then we could just find a nice looking bed. Oops, bunk bed. Okay, now uh, you're able to walk through this. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna go to textures, usage tools. You're gonna find this one clip right here and just drag it over the entire object. So now when you play in game, you cannot walk there and makes it better. So uh, let me press F on my keyboard. These are the filters so you could turn off uh, certain things that you want. And I'm just gonna turn off the clips so I don't see that on my screen. I'm going to add a bookshelf now, and I'm not going to go that much in detail, but uh, if you want your map looking nice, you can add a lot of detail. Uh, take your time when doing this. I usually do it really rough, because I don't really care, to be honest. And let me drag this over here. Okay. Turn on my clips. Let me copy it. And yeah, okay. So now when you spawn in here, uh, you're not gonna be able to walk into that. So let's make a window. And for all general windows, what I like to do, um, I like to make them 64. Not even. Let me see. I like to make them almost the width of the zombies. So say 48 units. And let's just drag it down. To 32 so now it's right at his waist you can see and let me fix this up now you notice when I clipped it uh, what I did I clicked this button right here this little button right here clipper and you just drag around and this just clips the object as you can see you're gonna press enter to keep it that way or uh, you can press shift and enter and keep both and then if you really want you can move it around and yeah but I'm gonna do that there and every time you clip, you're going to see this chalk texture. You're going to need to go to textures, show in use, and select your texture again. Uh, it's a little off, but it's whatever. Let me select these three and let me do that. Oh, what the hell? Okay, then. Okay. Uh, this is weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm going to take this. We're going to drag it above his head. Like right around there. And do that. So now the uh, window is roughly 40 by 48. You could actually make it taller. 48 by 48. Make it a perfect square. Let me fix the textures. Let me select all these textures. really bothering me okay oh, that's a little off it's whatever okay now we have that and to add a window for zombies you're gonna right click misc and prefab these prefabs right here are things that you could use so if you have the UGX you could uh, put in your let's say juggernaut and then now you, you, know, now you have your perk in your map and that's how you use, and that's how you put in perks and stuff. Uh, but to get the window, you're gonna go to Misc Prefab, uh, Zombie Mode, and Window Med. And you're gonna put this on the outside. You don't have to put it exactly against it, but I'd like to. And you see what I did here? The grid, the changes. You're gonna, these are just the numbers on your keyboard. It goes one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to nine. This is the biggest, there's no point in using it. I usually use two or three. 
three or four actually. Actually, I use between two, three, and four just to switch through, go in more depth. And let's drag it a little more. Actually, that's pretty good. Now you could change this if you want. Don't like it like that. If you want it bigger, taller, or whatever. And let me just extend the floor out. Now this is for zombie mode. I assume that you guys are doing this because you want to play zombies and make your own maps. So to prefab, we're gonna to go to traverse this time. And traverses are all the animations that zombies go through to do whatever they have to do. So say you have a <clears throat> zombie come in and you want them to drop down, you go to zombie jump down and then whatever how many units he wants you to drop down. So let's do wall hop because that's the animation for window. We're gonna put it in the middle. And we're gonna have the traverse exactly as tall as the um the window. You could have it here and then just move it up if you really want. Uh, I don't think I want to do that, so I'll just put it down. Whoops. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay, Traverse. Like so. Okay. Now, Zombie will break down the window and get in your map. So, let's add a light. Now, if you play this game right now, there will be no... Uh, you can't see. Oh, sorry, I got another text. Sorry about that. Um, right click, go to light. Now, uh, you could drag this anywhere. And here is what it would look like in game. Now, we want this to make it a little bit brighter, change the color up and everything. So, what you're going to want to do, press N on your keyboard. And then you get all these. So, let's change the color. Double click on this white space. We're going to click the yellow and then drag it down to like an orangish yellow. And then just drag the brightness up to whitener and it looks a little more uh, realistic I'm gonna change the radius to 500 now the room is gonna be brightened up it's not gonna really look like this in game but it's gonna look nicer in game and to change we gotta we can't just have a light we need to have a reflection probe or else the light will mess up and everything will look weird and, like ugly which you're gonna go to do right click and go to reflection probe and put this anywhere in your map you only need one, and that's basically it. Mm, if you want to add some detail, you can go to MISC model, go all the way back to raw, uh, X model, and go down to lights. Maybe lights, and then you could just see all these lights, and yeah. If you have a light, uh, you would most likely want to put it on mode. On. Put it right here. And then just drag these two down. Like so. And that's basically how to use Radiant. Um, say you have, uh, UGX. And you want to change, and you have, a. Uh, this is just totally optional but say you have UGX and you want the uh, moving box I mean the moving uh, pack a bunch here, right here put that in your map what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to stamp it and to do that to edit all these prefabs this is for every prefab you're gonna press this little stamp tool now each individual thing is its own thing now and you could select it move it around say you want to edit some stuff and yeah that's that. Say you want to move jug. Boom. Stamp that. Say you want to change that barrier. Boom. Stamp that. Now you could change these barriers if you really wanted to. From wood. Let's say metal. Let's undo the clip. Let's go to textures. Surface type. Metal. And load, load, load. And here we go. And it's metal and then boom that one bar is metal and you could do that for all the windows and whatever you want so this is basically how to use radiant 
Uh, if you want more tutorials, put them down in the below in the comments of what you want me to show you next. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace out.